Hey there, we're going to do a hard drive today. This is going to be how to reformat a hard drive in Mac OS X. So here's our, our little hard drive. It's this pocket drive here. It's a little to see. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to reformat this hard drive and protect the information that you used to have on it. If you come into applications and then once it loads up you can go down to utilities open up utilities and inside utilities you're gonna have a little program called disk utility which is right there so go ahead and open up disk utility this will take it a second to read it because it's got to check all the different hard drives and devices that you have installed and it comes up and here it is here's my little remote drive and here it's a 37 gig let's see so what well, what you want to do is erase it this by erasing there's several different ways you can erase it your hard drive works just like a CD when you burn a CD the first thing it does is it, it writes a table of contents that tells it where everything is and then later on on the disk is where it actually writes the information for all the songs or all the files depending on if it's a hard drive or a CD when you erase it you can do like a quick erase all it's going to do is erase the table of contents your all that data is still there the computer is not going to be able to get to it but it's Norton makes programs that are disk recovery software that can bypass the table of contents, they can index what's actually on the disk and you can pull that information back off. So that's like really kind of a serious security thing. If you're selling a laptop on eBay or it's a hard drive that had personal information on it that you don't want to, um, to be released. So this is where you can fix this. You have several options security wise with your um, with your hard drive right here if you click security options you're gonna get another menu that says don't erase data all that's gonna do is wipe out your table of contents if you zero out data it's gonna write zeros over the entire disk and then a seven pass is it's gonna write seven times over and 35 is 35 times over if I'm doing a disk that I am concerned about, like something that I know I'm sending out to somebody or like one that I'm giving away, even if I've just had like music on it, not any of my personal information, I'll go ahead and wipe out that disk and do a seven pass erase. Just because I know there's nothing on the disk, nothing's gonna be funny, you know, like magnetically, physically, it's gonna be kind of just a, a blank slate and it's gonna be really blank. And that just kind of is better for everybody. It makes your disks run better. On this particular drive, it's not going anywhere. So all I'm going to do is um, a don't erase. And then I click erase here. And it's going to wipe out the table of contents. So it does that. And you'll notice over here, when the drive reappears, it's going to be called um, untitled rather than remote and there it is. So now this drive, if I open it up, shows that it's totally empty and it's also showing that it has 37 gigs available. Otherwise, if I wanted to partition it, I could do, let's just say, two partitions. I can also change the, the size of these partitions and I think somewhere, I thought it would tell me how much they were. Anyway, I thought it did. I usually install Mac OS 9 drivers just in case. I don't even know anybody that's using Mac OS 10 any, or 9 anymore, but you never know. So now what happens, because I've partitioned it, it's going to, even though it's physically one hard drive, it's going to split itself up into two separate hard drives. So then what I get on my desktop are two separate drives. So that's really a handy trick if you know that you need a certain bit of hard drive for one thing and you don't want to use it for anything else. You can partition it into two or ten or however many pieces you need. So that's kind of a handy trick. But I'm going to go back to erase. Actually, I'm going to partition it back as one partition. 
so it's just one and apply. And it takes a few seconds. This isn't an especially big disc, so it doesn't take a real long time for it to, to fix it. And there it is. There is my hard drive. So that's all you have to do to reformat a hard drive like this.